Hey friends, today I'm gonna go through um, the tools that I use, what makes life easy for me in the garden, and I figured that that would be something that maybe would benefit you. Um, before I do that, I wanna say thank you for everyone who commented on the giveaway. I loved reading everything. Um, I feel like I got to know you a little bit better, and um, I'm gonna cherish all those comments. So I went old school and I wrote everyone's name down I, in a little piece of paper and I put them in a bowl. My daughter helped me you know, pick out the winner and Jennifer is receiving her um, gift from me shortly. So uh, thank you again for everyone who participated. Um, you guys mean the world to me. Um, so on the tools, I wanted to do this since last year, um, but I really wanted to wait to make sure that I truly loved everything. It's, this is not sponsored. I don't know why I feel like I have to say that, but every other people that I watch, they do this. So um, these are just things that I'm using and um, I would recommend them to my friends. So you guys are my friends and here it goes. Um, stay tuned because there's a lot going on. And from the last video to now, it's a huge difference, at least for me. Like, Okay, um, <clears throat> first one's up is this caddy. It's from Gardener Supply, and I think I bought it for my birthday last year. I'm not quite sure, um, but I bought two things from them, and so far I truly love them. I will link everything that I can in the description, but this is a caddy and it's a tool caddy. I don't have my tools here. Um, that's what the top ring is for. Um, sometimes I do, but most of the time I really use the bottom bucket and the little trash can in the back, um, really just to carry everything. What I really love about it is that it is real tires. So when they, these um, lose air, I can add more. Um, this supports it really well. I will say that some, you know, I it's a little wobbly, um, so maybe I just have to go in here and tighten these up, but it's not too bad. Like if I move it, it's not, it, it doesn't bother me. Um, this bucket is removable as well as the trash can. <clears throat> um, and the other item that I really love from them, like look at all these compartments, and they have a double pocket, is this tool right here. This is one of my favorites. This is a recommendation from uh, Laura from Garden Answer and I just love it. I even scoop out fertilizer with this. I mean this is a truly really good tool. Another tool that I have, I'm kind of hopping around, that I love is this one. This is a recommendation from Casey from the um, Lawrence Garden Farm and this is from Amazon. Um, it's really, really handy. Um, tools, those are the two that I love. Another thing um, that I have to have, and excuse that they're not clean, but um, I'm a first time gardener, so I don't know truly how to care for tools yet, but the Felco pruners are amazing. Um, I truly love the brand. Um, I had some little cheapy kind before and um, they're very rusted and stuff. I just need to clean those, but um, quality, it's totally worth the price. Other things I have here that I always use is always carry a pair of scissors. Um, this sort of bent a little bit, but this is my moisture meter and does a couple things. These are from Amazon. As you can tell, I use scissors because I have a second pair in case it gets lost. Um, this right here, I truly, truly love. This is Velcro. Um, and I use it, let's just show you an example here, <clears throat> to sustain anything that needs to be held um, upright. So the reason why I truly love it is because it's reusable. I've had, this comes in a really large roll and it has, hopefully I'm focused, it has um, a soft texture inside so it doesn't hurt your plants. Um, 
You always have to have one of these. I'm not good with names. Um, the gloves over here. This is another um, Laura. Not, um, she recommended these gloves. So let me show you a new pack. Um, I have it somewhere in here. Yeah. These are truly amazing gloves. This is the At Last gardening gloves. I wear size medium because I have a large hand. Um, and they fit perfect. Medium size fits perfect. But the Atlas gloves are amazing. Um, I don't need this often. I had this because that's when we were doing a lot of the woodwork um, and measuring tape just in case. But over here, um, some of my favorite items. Um, fertilizers all come from Espoma most of the time. I use this one a lot for my um, orchard and I use this one a lot as well um, for um, any plants that are already established. You know you add this to the to where you're gonna plant them and it, they tend to do really well with this. Um, so this goes um, for established plants. And let's see what else it goes in. All right. I started to use the neem oil uh, for aphids and it's really working well. And then these are my two. Let me try to do this. These are my two go-tos for worm castings. For Mastera, I love them. I use the earthworm casting tea and the earthworm castings. Um, I buy this bagel bag. This is the bag that uh, Jennifer won. It's 10 pounds. And then this is a big gallon. I get both of these through Amazon. Um, I have actually have this in a subscription, so you can do that and you can get it as often as you need it. It's not that much, but that's a lot of what I always carry in my caddy. And I love that I can take it anywhere. I don't have a lot of area to cover with it. So it hasn't really been used in a large scale, um, but it's done really good so far. Um, another thing that I really like is this water hose. It has gone through a lot and it's really, really good quality. It's a Goodyear Max Light. It's a heavy duty. This is a 50 foot hose. Um, I truly like this. I mean, it looks very sturdy. There's no leakage or anything. Um, and, and we know it does bend. It does kink, but I don't have an area that looks like um, is worn out. And it's, it's a year old. Another one of my favorites is this hose. And this is a dram. I've linked this before. I'll link it, link it again. Um, this rain wand in violet is really cute. I like it. Um, it's just like rain, rain water. I mean, pressure wise, it's really good. And then another thing over here, and I keep it right here by the hose. Okay, this is another um, um, attachment. This is a Foggit one um, gallon per hour mister. It's pretty good. Um, I haven't had this long, um, maybe a couple months, but um, this is a two piece. This is the shut valve and the Foggit piece is on the very top. So these two are really good combination. You do have to buy both. Um, it could be a little bit pricey, but it's totally worth it. I think it's like $30 for the two. Um, not 100% sure on that, but I'll link it. So it's not much, but as a beginner, to me, these have been very essential. Um, I love them, and I spent a lot of time on YouTube trying to find the best things, and I have no regrets. Everything has really worked for me. Um, there's nothing that I have said this isn't a good buy yet. So that's really good. It's super good for me. I did not mention this one thing. Um, you always need a knee pad. Um, this is also a recommendation from Laura. 
and she recommends the larger one I she knows that you can't find it um, so I still went ahead and bought this one um, I would say a larger one is needed um, but this one's perfect um, this is a great pad it's really handy and it fits perfectly in the back of the caddy you see <laughs> um, okay I think that's it I hope <laughs> um, I, I, I covered all the basics <gasps> wait okay I did buy one item that I'm not too happy with um, it's basically trash but I kept it for this video here it is this is a Fiskars this whatever <clears throat> I'm really bad at that but it's spilling stuff everywhere I bought this um, to be able to drag it but since I have concrete I didn't realize that I should have looked for one with a hard bottom this one doesn't the, the, the same material is all the way around and I did use it quite often and I can't use it anymore it gets trash um, it really only lasted for a year um, and this is the only reason why I kept it because I knew that I had to say this um, so if you have concrete or a rough ground then I would not recommend a soft bottom um, it can hold it to sod um, grass uh, but not concrete <laughs> mistake of mine but lesson learned, right? Anyways, <clears throat> now I can throw it away. Now that's truly it. Those are all the tools that I have. I will say that it was really handy to have a large, um, I don't know what it's called, that, uh, because of my orchard. Um, I do a lot of trimming and now I have large branches, so I'll invest and a much sturdier one um, obviously with a hard bottom that's it that's truly it <laughs> no more <laughs> um, thank you for sticking around and uh, we'll see you next time and it's very very humid out here I feel like hairs in my way all right well thanks for everyone to watch 